everybody, Pirate Dave here. Today is Monday, June 18th, 2012, and uh, we went to a thrift store today, shopping around for treasures, and this is what we got. We paid $6.75, and uh, we scored pretty good. I'm going to show you what we paid. For all this stuff. And the first one on the list is a Benedictine monk bottle. It's 15 and a half inches tall and uh, it's from the 1930s. And we got that bottle for two dollars. And when I got home, after a little research, Found, found them on eBay. They're listing them with a little bit better uh, advert paper label on them for in the three to four hundred dollar range. So I, I figure that I should be able to get about a hundred dollars for this bottle. So that was a nice buy. And then our second best buy was this little paperweight signed. Eichholt, 1988. And after a little research, we found this guy, Robert Eichholt Paperweights, and they go for big money. And we found one exactly like this, dated 10 years later, Eichholt, 1998, I believe it was, that somebody did a buy it now for $65. And so I figure, being that that's a little older, I'm going to try to get around 100 for it. And that cost a quarter. That was a nice buy. And then coming over here is 1960s era Lucite Aquarium Paperweight. And that was a quarter. And these are selling on eBay in the $40 to $50 range. And coming over here is what they call California Pottery. And that was 50 cents. And a few years back, we sold one exactly like this, except it was a wall pocket, what they call a wall pocket. And this is a covered dish. And we got almost $300 for it. So we figure that this is going to bring in the $30 to $40 range. And with the economy the way it is, everything's a little bit way down anyway. So. Um, Still not bad. And then coming over here is a Staffordshire, England, circa 1920s, 30s, um, approximately four inch tall pitcher. That was 50 cents. And then uh, it looks to me like a 1960s era uh, vase for a dollar from the style 1960s, but it was made by McCoy. USA popular uh, pottery maker back then. They've been around for a long time, but I haven't done any research on that pattern yet, so I'm not even going to give a value of it yet. And then uh, the next one was for 50 cents this uh, Red Wing Pottery pitcher. It's about an eight or a nine inch pit pitcher very collectible. Um, not sure what that pattern is so I'm not going to give a price on that. And then coming over here is a circa 1860s dark amber beer bottle. That was a dollar. No idea of the value yet. And then uh, next one is 1960s Syracuse China Cerulite salt and pepper shakers. Um, they were 50 cents and we'd get, you know, $5, maybe $10 at a show for them. And then the next buy was this 1776-1976 uh, 200 anniversary year uh, calendar plate put out by Spencer Gifts. I, I like the plate. It's kind of nice patriotic looking plate with the 4th of July coming up. but. 
they're not selling on eBay so maybe I'll run it through a show and get five dollars for it and last but not least was the set of three 1980s uh, play meter magazines which I thought were cool with the uh, all the different kinds of pinball machines and arcade games in them and uh, that was 75 cents for the three of them um, they can sell for for you know maybe in the 10 to 20 dollar range on ebay if they're in a little bit better condition but they're not in the greatest shape but i just like them for uh, reference more than anything and uh, what kind of a neat little reference magazine but anyway so that's what we got for six dollars and 75 cents today out thrifty shopping and that was from one store and um, so our six dollars and seventy-five cents, we figure, is going to make between two forty-five and three sixty. And you can watch how some of this stuff does. When I list it on eBay, my user ID is four wind, and that's the number four W I N D. Take it easy, everybody.